In this video, I'm going to look at an example of a PAG-1 practical. It's about moles determination. And in the practical, we are going to calculate the MR of a group 2 metal. So before I do the experiment, I'll just run through the apparatus and the sort of basic procedure. So the equation for the reaction between this group 2 metal and hydrochloric acids at the top there. So you can see that the reaction produces hydrogen gas. So the apparatus setup is fairly simple. We're just going to place some excess hydrochloric acid and a measured amount of X into a conical flask. We're going to fit um, a delivery tube via a bung and we're going to collect over water the hydrogen gas that's produced by the reaction. And what that's going to do is it's going to displace the water out of a measuring cylinder, an upside down measuring cylinder, it's going to displace the water out of there and replace it with hydrogen. And then all we're going to do is use the volume of hydrogen produced to calculate the moles of hydrogen and hence the moles of X used in the reaction. And from that we can get the MR of X. Okay, so I've just measured out that 50 cm cubed of its one mole per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid. Remember that's an excess of the acid. And in the little plastic weigh boat there, I've got 0 0.21 grams of the metal X. Okay, so I'll just run through the um, basic procedure. So we've got this washing up bowl here full of tap water. And we've got an upturned 250 cm cube measuring cylinder here. This is full of water. Um, hopefully you can see the delivery tube is going into the bottom of the upturned measuring cylinder. Obviously there's the other end there. My conical flask with the excess acids sitting waiting here. So when I'm ready, I'm just gonna put the metal X into the excess acid as quickly as possible, fit the rubber bung so I don't lose any gas. And we're just gonna collect the gas um, that comes off the reaction, okay? So here we go, very, very quickly. So we'll just wait for the last of the bubbles to form. Slow right down now. So I'm just going to read the measuring cylinder now with the gas in. Remember, this is hydrogen gas. I've got to read it upside down, which is a little bit tricky. So 170, 180. Right, it's got 184 centimetres cubed of hydrogen in. So I'll just write that down. Okay, so there's the equation. Um, so we've got 0.21 grams of X reacting with an excess of hydrochloric acid. You notice I've written RTP up there, so we're going to assume that the conditions in the lab today have been room temperature and pressure. So we're going to use the molar gas volume, one mole of any gas at RTP, as a volume of 24 decimeters cubed. So the reaction's made um, XCl2 and hydrogen gas. And we know that we've made 184 cm cubed of it. Now, I'll just pause at the, for the moment. If you want to have a go at that, so we want to find the MR of X using those results. If you want to have a go, just pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answer. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is calculate the moles of hydrogen that's come off the reaction. So that's going to be um, moles of hydrogen, 184 divided by 24 thousand because we're working in centimeters cubed so that comes out at 7.67 times 10 to the minus three moles okay the next thing we can say is because of the ratio between x and hydrogen in the equation there must have been the same number of moles this many moles of x in that 0 0.121 grams so the moles of X must also be 7.67 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay, now we want the MR of X. Remember, MR is calculated by mass in grams divided by moles. Well, we've got both of those. There's the mass in grams. There's the moles. So 0 0.21 divided by 7.67 times 10 to the minus 3. So that's coming out at 0 0.21 divided by answer, 
27.391300, grams per mole if you want. So the MR of X from our results is 27.4. So which member of group two must X be? Now there isn't a member of group two that has exactly that as its MR, but the closest match, we'd have to go on the closest match, is magnesium, okay? So you'd have to say therefore X equals magnesium. So if I just bring the chemical bottle, so that's X, I just rotate it, hopefully you can see it was indeed magnesium.